Three, two, one, action. Did you get that? Yep. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is day 16 of the Emma Academy Project campaign, and we are broadcasting from headquarters in New York City, New York. All right, first issue of the day. We've been talking the last couple days about crowdsourcing ideas. Um, crowdsourcing, as we've explained the last couple days, it's about what we're trying to do is collaborate with the ideas of this campaign. This is not our campaign. Since the day that we started, we have made this about our members and we, everybody that's involved in this campaign, if you join the Facebook page, if you've reached out to us to be a sponsor, if you've reached out to us in terms of donating, this is your campaign. We want your ideas. We are not that smart, unfortunately. Well, we are. I'm just not that smart. Um, so we're looking for your ideas. So we have, uh, people have been asking, we talked about the last, uh, the last video about the eBay page, the Emma Academy eBay page. We're, we're developing an eBay page where you will be able to, for a person, for a member who wants to donate, but maybe they don't have any cash, any green, any cabbage, any cheese, any cake, as they say, um, for, the, for those members, uh, you will be able to donate your stuff if you want. So you, everyone knows about my terrible Ayn Rand book that somebody took from me. Maybe it's, uh, it's already gone. It has been taken. But everyone knows about that terrible book that I will put up for, where is it? On top of it. Aha. This book right here. First item that will be on the eBay page. And some boring professor in New Zealand may want to read up on Ayn Rand and he can take this book off my hands because I've hated it since the day I bought it. It was a waste of $25. Um, and anyone else that has something like an Ayn Rand book, maybe you bought a desk that looks ugly or maybe you bought a pair of shoes that your dog threw up on and you cleaned them but you know that he threw up on them even though they're clean now and you don't want to wear them but you know you could probably sneak them to somebody else. Well those types of items, if you don't have any cash but you want to donate to the Emma Academy Project, you can upload those on our eBay page and you know the shipping and everything will be included in the price and we'll you know they'll do the eBay back and forth and people put in their prices and then whoever wins the auction the the proceeds of that item will go directly toward the building cost of the Emma Academy project it's a beautiful idea wish I could take credit for it but I can't it goes to Tracy in London you know who you are baby and that was a beautiful idea and that is one example of crowdsourcing another example of crowdsourcing is a uh, pack today on our on the Facebook page. Pac said, hey, why don't we create some bracelets? It's something that we were already thinking about, but we're glad he brought it up. And he said, hey, you know what? I will go out there and I will do, I'll check into it if you guys want. Carly came up with an idea to create calendars. So she's doing some research on that about custom calendars for the campaign. Anyways, a lot of cool ideas are coming up. The best example of a crowdsourced idea for developing um, for the Emma uh, for the Emma campaign has come from our beta class in Spanish Harlem. We've talked about these kitties before. If you've been listening, which you probably haven't, um, the class is in Spanish Harlem. It's Tito Puente, class eight thirty, class eight thirty, led by Daniela and Karen. Karen, and we're gonna have Melissa who is the director of the Emma class program, which will go live in the classrooms in January. We've got two beta classes right now. She's going to explain what they did today. They did a bit of a bake sale. So we're gonna do a really sick roll in for Melissa. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> just like that. And no one gets to talk on these videos without one of these. So she gets the guest bandana and now. So, what happened today? Well, regardless of what you guys think, those roll-ins are absolutely amazing. Um, they're very much a fun part to do. Uh -huh. So, basically, um, I work as an ESL professional, and the class that I'm with um, is a class of 7th and 8th graders, and they have created their own Emma Academy campaign. And what they decided to do was they made a plan of action where they decided that they were going to do a bake sale for the school. So they made posters and went around to the different classes and talked to them about the Emma Academy and what it was and told the kids, hey, bring your money, we're going to have a bake sale on Tuesday. 
So today they all brought in empanadas and tacos and donuts and cake and all this stuff that they made at their house and they sold it to the other kids in the school and they raised a lot of money. They raised $134. One class, their first event for the Emma Academy project. It's all part of the curriculum where the kids learn about Sudan and then they go and they, they watch the War Child movie and they get to interact, they get to interact with Jal, they do their blogs, and then they create a POA, a plan of action, where they create their own campaign, just like what we're trying to do with all our members. Create your own campaign, give us your ideas, but we want you to run with them. And that's what these kitties did, bake sale, $134 in one day. Now extrapolate that out all across the country. What do you get? A lot of money. You get a school in the Sudan. That's what a you get. A lot of money. Um, all right. So that is our Emma Class uh, bake sale uh, thing up top. Thank you, Emma Class. Thank you, M uh, Daniela and Karen. Karen. You guys rock. All right. So shout outs for the day. First shout out goes to roll in again. Tito Puente, class 830 in Spanish Harlem. And second shout out for the day, our random shout out for the day goes to Gemma, or Gemma, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm terrible, In and I think you're in Spain. You're either in Spain or you've been to Spain because I've lurked all around your profile. And Gemma came up with a wonderful idea. She created a piece of flair for the Emma Academy project. You doing all right? Yeah, everybody's good. Um, she created a piece of flair for the Emma Academy project, and you can get it on Facebook. So if you go to the flair, if you go to the flair application, you can actually go there and search Emma Academy project, and boom, there you go. So that's it. We are out for today. Peace. I will see you guys tomorrow. Rolling out.